Nestled amidst the rolling hills of KwaZulu Natal, South Africa, lies the Neom Marian Shrine, a place of profound spiritual significance for many. This shrine, dedicated to the Blessed Virgin Mary, has become a beacon of faith, attracting not only South Africans but also pilgrims from across the globe. Its story, steeped in reported apparitions, miraculous healings, and unwavering devotion, offers a fascinating glimpse into the depths of human belief and the enduring power of hope. Between 1955 and 1971, Sister Renolda May, who was born in 1901 and died in 1981, a member of the Benedictine Sisters of Tutsing, experienced ten visions of the Virgin Mary, who appeared to her and identified herself as the Tabernacle of the Most High. The details of the visions were as follows. In December 1954, she perceived two figures, a woman in a white and a monk. The woman held something covered in her right hand, while the monk held something like an offering. Something ascended like incense after which the figures disappeared. Eight months later, the visions of the Virgin began. On August 22, 1955, right after receiving communion, the Virgin showed herself to her, stating she wished to be venerated as the Tabernacle of the Most High and encouraging Sister Renaldas to tell her priest. The visions on 20th and 22nd October 1955 were similar to the first vision, but with the added injunction to tell everyone. On March 15, 1956, the Virgin pointed in a northwesterly direction and asked that a sanctuary be built at a place where seven springs well up and meet, or to allow for grace to flow and for people to be converted. Other visions appeared on 5th June 1956, 15 March 1957, and 24th May 1957. On April 17, 1958, she felt the need for a picture. Bishop Bill Gary of Esho consented to the painting of a picture according to Sister Renolda's instructions. On 28 March 1970, she had an apparition of the devil, after which Mary, the tabernacle of the Most High, comforted her and pointed to Archangel Michael, who stood on the other side with a lance, wearing a breastplate and a cherubim in white standing next to him. In her last vision on 2nd May 1971, Sister Renolda became certain that it should be built at Neom, and indeed wells were found in the forest near the Neom school. A chapel was built and as it happened, the site also a place held sacred by the local Zulu population. It was consecrated at the Pentecost in 1966. The picture of Our Lady of the Tabernacle of the Most High was placed in the chapel. Pilgrimage to the site began in March 1966, and in spite of sharing her vision with other priests, the pilgrimages were stopped by Bishop Bilgeri. He did not want the visions to be publicized, and while he consented to the painting and small chapel, he refused to have a bigger church built. In 1973, Popular veneration at the shrine continued unabated. People travelled from far and wide to pray at the chapel and collect water from the springs. A 1976 commission, headed by two Benedictine priests, decided that the use of Neom as a site of pilgrimage would bring great benefits, and that pilgrimage and veneration, though not the use of the spring water, should be allowed. The then Bishop Bias, however, would not allow organised pilgrimages. Sister Renolda died in 1981, and in 1984, a new church was built at the site. It was dedicated to the Virgin Mary without any specific or additional titles. In 1988, the Neom Shrine Committee was formed from priests of the diocese. By that time, Bishop B.S.A. was wavering, saying he could not and would not suppress the veneration. In 1989, the committee published a booklet and postcards featuring the shrine increasing its role in the local church. Finally, in 1992, Bishop Bayas blessed an open altar, part of a bigger chapel that replaced the little shrine and allowed for the Marian shrine to be designated as a place of prayer so that organized pilgrimages were now actively promoted. There are reports of miraculous and spontaneous healing at the shrine and comparisons with Lourdes are drawn. The water from the spring is still collected and visitors dip their feet in the water during prayer. The shrine is now one of the most popular Christian pilgrimage sites in Africa. Sister Renolda May's apparitions were the first in a series of Marian visions in Africa. 
In the 1980s, visions of Mary were also seen in Kenya, Zaire, Mozambique, South Africa, and Cameroon. Thank you.